we see now the semantic web uh, has been actually created and why it is important. And as we've seen, actually, the semantic web is, uh, is powering up uh, the web uh, that we know today, even though many have not realized it. When we look at the artificial intelligence revolution, which is a buzzword in the marketing, uh, digital marketing space, we're actually talking about how uh, technologies like semantic web technologies enable companies like Google to query uh, billions and billions of data out of uh, what is called the knowledge graph. We're going to see more in detail what is a knowledge graph further, but right now it is important to understand that we live in a semantic web world. Now, uh, if I'm talking about the city, uh, actually if I'm saying out of the blue of Washington, what do I mean? Am I talking about Washington DC, the capital of the US? Am I talking about Washington the state? Am I talking about Washington the president of the United, the first president of the United States? Well, in reality, to actually understand that, we can do three things. I can define the concept, so I can say Washington is the first president of the United States, or I can actually give it a, a bit of context, so I can say I'm talking about Washington DC, which is the capital of the US. In other words, in order for us to understand uh, a concept, we need to look at it uh, from its definition, from the context, and from, uh, from other uh, and several aspects. Now, if I'm a search engine and I want to understand the concept, for me, uh, there is also a way to actually understand it uh, by, by looking at the definition of that concept. That is called a schema, uh, which is a vocabulary which we're going to see uh, in the next lecture. But for now, let's keep in mind that that's what an entity is. An entity is a machine-readable concept that search engines like Google can actually process and can understand right away. And this is the key difference between an entity and a keyword. And you can understand that you can already appreciate the power of an entity because actually an entity is something that the search engine can actually understand right away. There is no other specifications that you have to give to the search engine because you're actually providing something that is machine-readable. That's why when we do a semantic SEO strategy, pretty much we use entities and we don't use uh, much of keywords. I'm not saying that keywords are not important, they are. You still have to use them, you still have to know how to craft a title, you still have to know how to customize your meta descriptions and all the basic stuff. But if you understand how to actually use entities and why those are important, you can actually power up your SEO strategy and you can build up on the basic SEO strategy and have a semantic SEO strategy.